Hello everybody, today we will do um, a sign test. The sign test is a non-parametric alternative for the paired t-test. Um, for this test, you'll first have to install a package. It's the package uh, BSDA. Um, and then you have to open the library BSDA after you've installed the package. So first of all, um, I'll start with an example. Um, this is a Wombat. You may uh, recognize this one from other movies that I posted. Um, and in the zoo in Germany, they have about 18 of these Wombats. Um, and these Wombats, they were put on a new diet. So they, uh, they were put on a, um, a protein rich diet. And the question is whether or not this diet has an effect on their weight, whether or not they increase or lose weight. Um, so that's what we want to find out. So let's attach the data set first and take a look at the data set. So this is the data. Um, so here's the ID, the different identities of the different wombats. In total, it's 20 wombats, not 18. Uh, so 20 wombats. And this is their weight in kilograms before the diet started. And this is their weight uh, after three months in the diet. So the question is whether or not there has been a increase or decrease in weight due to this diet. Now, for the sign test, um, there's a couple of assumptions, very easy assumptions. The first assumption is that you're dealing with um, a matched pair, which means in our case before or after, because we did two measurements on the same wombat. So it's not independent. So it's on the same animal. So in this case, it's a matched or non-independent pair. The second assumption is that um, the differences of these matched pairs have to be independent. So which means that we cannot uh, do several measurements uh, before and after on the same wombat. So each wombat is unique. So each wombat for which we have a before and after measurement is a unique wombat. Now, because it's a non-parametric test, this also means that the differences of these matched pairs do not have to follow a normal distribution. So we can we can look at the, the distribution by looking at the normal quantile plots. And what you have to see if you're looking for normal distribution is that the dots are on a straight line, which they're not. So there's some strange patterns, some weird deviations. So it seems that these differences do not follow a normal distribution. So in this case, uh, independent samples t-test or a paired a paired t-test would not be um, ideal so we'd have to go for uh, the sign test now in the sign test um, this is a very simple code this is the code this is the test that you get from the bsda package so you just type sign dot test and then between brackets the differences because it's a difference that we're interested in because we're actually going to test if these differences deviate from zero. So in this case, MD is zero. And then we're doing a, we're running a two sided test, which is something you should always do, of course, not the one sided test. Um, and then we set the confidence level at 0.95. So let's run this test and see what happens. Um, so here at the bottom, uh, we have the result of this test. So what we see is that the p-value uh, equals, well, about a half, which is much more than open to five. So in other words, uh, we cannot reject the null hypothesis. So we have no indications that the, that uh, the diet has had an effect on weight. So there's no significant effect of the diet on weight uh, because of this high p-value. Also, if you want to um, visualize the data, these, this is some code for visual, visualization. It's quite long code, so um, you can find uh, the link to this code below the video if you want to plot it, and you can get it from the script um, below this video. But let's look. Let's take a look at it. So this is what uh, what the figure would look like. So these are these dots are independent wombats, and then here you see the before uh, weight, and this is the after weight. And overall, there's no uh, significant increase or decrease. So that was it for the sign test.